be that you could lose one of your best players. Phil Jagielka continually gets linked with Arsenal. Everything is possible, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you could lose the players, or you could get injured. Everything is possible. So if you start to worry about stuff that doesn't happen, then you're always going to be worried. So you don't let it affect you as a squad? Because in the past, why that was what was levelled when Phil Lester left. Affect us? Right now, today, he's here. There's no sign that that is going. The players, the club refused the, the offer from Arsenal. Right now, there's no, uh, no reason to be uh, scared or worried about, about nothing. It's all positive. How then do you avoid the slow start to the season that has become a bit of a habit? Why should we avoid the slow start of the season? It's where you finish. It's not really how you start or how you finish. It's where we finish, and uh, I think we're doing. Uh, we're not doing too bad so far. So it doesn't mean it's not because we start slowly or, or really, really good that we're going to finish higher. It doesn't mean much. This team who starts really well and finish being relegated. So I don't think that has any importance. It's it's the end, uh, the end of the season, and where you, uh, where you, what position you finish was important. You certainly carried momentum at the end of last season as well, didn't you? If you can start like that and continue it through the season, though. It's hard to carry the momentum, you know. Everybody's been on holiday, everybody <laughs> relaxed a bit, and then there's a pre-season, a lot of running, heavy legs, and then you start to get ready for the season again. I think the momentum is uh, is gone, so it's been a lot of time between uh, last season and this season, so I'm not sure there's the, is, uh, still any momentum. While we talk about a lack of signings, if Marouane Fellaini was to sign a new contract, would that yeah. show a, a level of statement of intent at Everton as well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But as I said, keeping our best player is the, the first things to do uh, before signing anyone. And and at the moment, they are, they are all there. No one, no one left. So it's a it's a positive sign from uh, from the club to the fans to the players to everybody. Do you see keeping hold of Marouane as, as as vital? Any good players, any any players at the at the team, we need to keep them. We've got a small squad. We know that. So obviously, Marouane, same as every other other players. Yeah. What as well can we expect from Ross Barkley? Do you think this season? Well, we need to give him time. You know, he seems to be an amazing player and uh, very interesting. But uh, the problem is often, you know, after one or two games, people to put, uh, especially the press, put too much expectation on the on the young players, and uh, it's a lot of pressure as well for him. So I want to give him time. He showed really good time, uh, really good signs. But uh, we need to uh, to let him uh, get a bit more mature and evolve and. Uh, Get even better, but definitely you've got uh, you've got qualities. Is that where someone of your experience can help him along <coughs> as well? No, I think he's mature enough, you know, to uh, to learn by himself, and uh, he fits really well with the with the squad, with the team, and uh, he's learning quite uh, quite quickly. But we've got other players like uh, my guy as well, mm. uh, like Connor as well. It's really really good players. There's four five young players who uh, seem to do really well. And again, the fact that you've got young players coming through that will. Help supplement the squad, yeah. I suppose. And yeah, def definitely, it's a it's a good thing, especially because it seems to have a bad habit to have uh, quite a few injuries through the season. So uh, you need those kind of players to to be there and and, uh, and push the old players like me uh, to train harder and be even better. The fact, though, that the club hasn't spent money seems to have caused concern among certain sections of fans. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been making their feelings about the board clear as well. I think they've done it, to, made it clear to you on, on Twitter as well. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the situation and, and fans beginning to protest? I don't think I've played in. No, I don't think there is any club where I've played and the fans been happy with the, with the what happened during the transfer window. So, as I said, they have to remember that we keep our best player so far. So uh, that's that's really good. Then obviously everybody wants to improve, but the transfer window is not finished yet. So we have to give them. A, to give the, the club time and maybe things will happen uh, happen soon, but there's no reason to be uh, to be worried so far. If there is unrest among the fans, does it affect you as players? It affects us if the fans are not behind us. That's the only uh, the only way it's going to affect us. If you come and play a home game and feel like you play away because there is no atmosphere or, or you can feel the, the tension uh, or the disappointment from the fans, then yeah, that could, uh, that could affect us. But uh, it's part of football, we have to deal with it, but I'm sure the the fan of the club enough and the player enough to uh, to support us.